In Japan, for powerful Zaibatsu conglomerates sponsor clandestine deathmatches featuring genetically engineered hybrids known as Therianthropes. These beings possess the intelligence of humans merged with the raw power of animals. Amidst this, a high school girl named Hitomi Yuzaki becomes the target of abduction by a group of men with sinister intentions. Yuya Namoto, a college student, is coerced into driving the van used in the kidnapping. However, before Yuya can intervene, he witnesses Hitomi effortlessly dispatching her assailants. Their journey leads them to an arena where Hitomi is slated to face off against a lion hybrid in a brutal match. In a daring move, Hitomi bets on her victory, using the monetary value that could be gained from selling Yuya's organs. Revealing her own hybrid nature as a fearless honey badger, she easily triumphs over her opponent. Yuya discovers from Hitomi's guardian, Ryaki Shido, that the Zaibatsu exploit these death matches as a means to lure affluent investors and gain substantial political and economic influence. Through Hitomi's unconventional wager, Yuya inadvertently becomes her sole investor, granting her the opportunity to participate in these matches. Matches. Tasked with safeguarding Yuya, Hitomi transfers her prize money of 100 million yen to him for future bets on upcoming fights. Later, Yuya faces an attack from another hybrid, eager to glean information about Hitomi. Hitomi arrives in the nick of time to rescue Yuya from the clutches of Ryoko Araka, a porcupine hybrid aligned with the Yatsubishi Zaibatsu. Ryoko, wielding metallic quills as lethal weapons, had initially aimed to eliminate Yuya, eliminating Hitomi's future investor. However, her intentions swiftly pivot towards targeting Hitomi herself in a fight for survival. As the confrontation intensifies, the imperviousness of Hitomi's honey badger skin becomes apparent, proving impenetrable even against Ryoko's metallic weaponry. Before Ryoko can launch another assault, a hippopotamus hybrid named Ichinosuk Okojima intervenes, incapacitating Ryoko. He extends an invitation for Hitomi to join the Ishida Zaibatsu, despite her initial refusal. A message from Ryaki prompts a change of heart in Hitomi, compelling her to agree to fight as a representative of Ishida in the forthcoming deathmatch. She transfers to Yuya's university, encountering Iruza Nakanishi, a cheetah hybrid affiliated with the Yatsubishi. Iruza's provocative act of stealing Hitomi's underwear provokes her into a confrontation. Before their conflict can escalate, a representative from the Mitsukado Zaibatsu intervenes, stipulating that any pre-match fighting between them is forbidden since Hitomi represents Ishida. Unknown observers reveal that all four Zaibatsu are targeting Hitomi, setting the stage for a likely strike during the imminent deathmatch. Tensions escalate as the threat against Hitomi looms ominously, drawing the attention of unseen forces aligned with the powerful conglomerates. To hide their hybrid identities Hitomi and Iruza end up wearing cosplay while students from the photography club photograph them. As Yuya returns home he finds Leo the lion hybrid alive, along with Yoko Mitsukado, the granddaughter of the Mitsukado Zaibatsu's president. Yoko reveals that Hitomi's guardian, Ryaki, is using the matches to test his hybrid research and Yuya must participate in the match as Hitomi's strategist. Yoko is angered when he agrees to take part, having hoped his cowardice would make him withdraw. She decides to take part in the match to ensure Hitomi's death. As the match requires three team members at Chinasuk attempts to recruit another hybrid but the only one available is Yui Inaba, a rabbit hybrid who has never won a match. Yui is attacked by Akemi Kishimoto, a horned lizard hybrid who has been preventing other hybrids from joining the Ishida. Yui is almost shot by the blood bullets from Akemi's eyes but is saved by Hitomi. Yui uses her sensitive hearing to deduce Akemi has a twin sister shooting from another location, allowing Hitomi to defeat but not kill them. As fighting before the match is forbidden Hitomi blackmails the sisters into claiming they were defeated by UI. UI, excited by her first ever victory, joins their team. Before the start of the matches Hitomi's team meet Nakanishi Taiga, a tiger hybrid fighting for the Yatsubishi. His sister, Iruza, decides she wants to kill Hitomi. Ryaki Shido is announced as the director of the match on Hote Island in the Philippine Sea. During the match the hybrids are forced to follow instructions from their investors who move them around the map like pieces on a chessboard. Yuya is initially treated with contempt by his investor opponents who know he has no idea how to play the game but they are forced to take him seriously seriously when he makes an expert move and it is revealed Hitomi has been sending him hand signals via the CCTV monitors telling him which locations to move her to. Hitomi faces her first opponent, Jerome Hongo, a bear hybrid representing the Mitsukado. Hitomi shocks the investors by incapacitating Jerome in less than a second with only a single move. Elsewhere on the map Ichinosuk is placed into a temporary alliance with Shota Yabe, a gorilla hybrid from Mitsukado, and Ruji Shina, a crocodile hybrid from Sumitomo to take down Taiga as a team. Taiga, using the jungle terrain to his advantage, incapacitates Ruji and Shota with ease. Iruza is maneuvered into an area not covered by the cameras, allowing Kid Kazama, a gecko hybrid, and Deno Muna, a cobra hybrid, to restrain her. Ichinosuk resolves to die fighting but Taiga is suddenly ordered to move to another area by his investor so he can save Iruza. Before Taiga can leave he is immobilized by Ruji who traps Taiga's leg in his jaws. Yuya realizes Ruji had planned this as hybrids failing to follow instructions within a time limit are executed via explosive collars. Yuya is shown alone elsewhere on the island 
Island digging a burrow. As Den prepares to attack Iruza, he is attacked by Hitomi who had been moved there by Yuya to save Iruza. Yuya is mocked by the investors for making a foolish move to save an opponent. As cameras are moved to the area Hitomi struggles to counter Kid's fighting style which utilizes the sticky skin on her fingers. Den, having been distracted by Hitomi, has his face slashed by Iruza. Reluctantly deciding to team up Hitomi decides to fight Den while Iruza fights Kid. A flashback shows that Den and Kid were hired to fight in the match by Sumitomo. Yuya learns that when Shido took control of the matches he changed the rules so criminals like Den could volunteer to become hybrids and compete. Elsewhere Taiga is suddenly freed from Ruji's jaws by a Chinasuk, allowing Taiga to quickly flee to his ordered destination and cancel the explosion that would have killed him. Ruji swears to kill a Chinasuk. Yui is shown underground digging a complicated tunnel. Hitomi tricks Den and tries to attack on his blinded right side but doesn't realize Den can still see her using his snake tongue to track her body heat. Hitomi suddenly collapses, paralyzed by breathing Den's venom. Kid also further transforms into a monstrous gecko and overpowers Iruza. Den prepares to attack Hitomi, but at the last second, Hitomi overcomes his paralysis and cuts off part of his body with one blow. Enraged, Den attacks but Hitomi easily cuts his body in half, severing his tail and incapacitating him. Kid is left to fight both Iruza and Hitomi alone. As a Chinasuk is about to lose against Ruji their fight is interrupted by Kido, a hybrid sponsored by Yoko. Kido is revealed to be Shota's teammate and kills Ruji with a single punch without transforming into his hybrid form. Kido shocks the investors by mercilessly beating Ruji's corpse. A Chinasuk is attacked by Shota, only to suddenly disappear. Kid is ordered to flee from the area. Iruza and Hitomi happily begin fighting each other. A Chinasuk is shown to have fallen into one of the tunnels dug by Yui who surfaces next to Shota causing her to flee in panic. Iruza pins Hitomi, intending to kill her but instead they begin kissing passionately. They are shown to be drugged by Kaori Rikujo, a civet hybrid from Yatsubishi who can produce a pheromone that causes uncontrollable lust. This enrages Yoko who considers such tactics shameful and without honor. Kid is maneuvered into fighting Taiga but is killed instantly. The investors get more excited watching Iruza and Hitomi until Yoko angrily demands the game continue. Her true intention is revealed, to humiliate Shido by beating his hybrids in tactics and ending his influence over her beloved grandfather. Hitomi suddenly breaks free from her lust by focusing on her real lust for Shido. She attacks Kaori just as Taiga reaches them. The presidents of the four Zaibatsus discuss corruptly legalizing hybrids, turning matches into a legal business owned solely by the Zaibatsu that wins the current game. Shido, as the head of the hybrid creation project, has been manipulating events so that no matter which Zaibatsu wins, he will be the one with all the power. Taiga insists on fighting Hitomi alone without Iruza or Kaori. Shota manages to trap Ui but damages several trees doing so, forgetting that Kido despises anyone who damages the forest. Kido rips Shota in half but leaves Ui alive. Ui becomes determined to help Hitomi. Taiga reveals that his ultimate goal is to defeat Leo and that Leo is far stronger than people think. Leo had only pretended to lose to Hitomi as her strength was so far below as he didn't take the fight seriously. Taiga, knowing Leo only seriously fights those he considers his equal, strove to become stronger so he could kill Leo in a fair fight. As Hitomi had insulted Leo by believing herself capable of killing him, Taiga became determined to kill Hitomi for the insult. Hitomi and Taiga prepare to fight to the death. Yuga thinks about how his life was empty until he met Hitomi. Hitomi takes several hits from Taiga waiting for the best time to counterattack. Ui arrives to warn Hitomi about Kido, not realizing Taiga is behind her. As she flees she is caught by Kaori's pheromones and collapses. Yuya is mocked by the investors for killing Hitomi with his playing style but overcomes his fear by focusing on his friendship with Hitomi and decides to forego his turn to move Hitomi elsewhere, allowing her to continue fighting Taiga. Hitomi almost manages to counter Taiga's next attack but is suddenly attacked by Kido's transformed tail, covered in heavy protective scales. Yuya realizes Yoko emotionally manipulated him into keeping Hitomi in the fight so Kido, who she had likewise emotionally manipulated into hating Hitomi, could kill her. Despite being overwhelmed with lust Ui manages to trick Kaori into falling into one of her tunnels. Hitomi attempts to fight back but cannot cut Kido's armored skin. As Kido is about to kill Hitomi he is attacked from behind by Taiga, but even he cannot cut Kido's skin. Everyone is shocked as Kido fully transforms, covering his entire body in thick scale armor, revealing himself as a pangolin hybrid. Hitomi is knocked unconscious. Taiga tries to break Kido's scales but is tricked and loses his right arm. Taiga is saved by a Chinasuk, whose attack leaves Kido vulnerable long enough for Taiga to claw out his right eye. Despite this, both Taiga and a Chinasuk are impaled by Kido. Yoko happily declares her victory for the Mitsukado. However, Hitomi suddenly and explosively awakens and transforms further into her monstrous honey badger form. Shido reveals that while most hybrids are genetically modified humans, Hitomi was born with hybrid DNA, making her an origin beast, a perfect fusion of human and animal. A flashback to seven years ago reveals Shido first encountered Hitomi living like a wild animal in Hong Kong. By feeding and spending time with
with her he gained her trust and named her Hitomi. Despite numerous injuries to himself, Shidoa's co-worker, Shibayama, ended up shooting her with a tranquilizer causing her to collapse in an area controlled by the Luman Mafia. They are eventually saved from the Mafia by match overseer Shinozaki and Hitomi begins to develop feelings for Shido for protecting her. Back in the present Hitomi attacks Kido with vastly superior strength and speed than her previous attacks. Hitomi manages to slash Kido's unprotected chest before kicking him into several trees, destroying them. Kido's flashback reveals he associates plants with his mother. Kido severs Hitomi's right arm, forcing his protective scales outwards, becoming rows of knives. He beats Hitomi until she suddenly flings her own severed arm into his face as a distraction. During her next attack she smiles, tricking Kido into thinking for a split second that she was his mother, allowing her to thrust her remaining arm down his throat. As Yoko rages for having lost Kido manages to stand up only for Iruza to suddenly slash his throat, finally killing him and making her the Killing Bites champion. Yoko passes out from shock. Surprisingly, Yui suddenly awakens. As she tries to flee from Iruza she accidentally performs a perfect somersault kick, knocking Iruza unconscious. Overseer Shinozaki declares Yui the Killing Bites champion. The presidents of the four Zaibatsus bicker fiercely, accusing each other of cheating. All the lights and monitors suddenly shut down. Unseen to the representatives the island has been infiltrated by chameleon hybrids under orders to kill all surviving hybrids so the match will be declared void with victory going to no one. The chameleon hybrids, under orders from Sumitomo, attempt to kill all surviving hybrids but are stopped by match overseer Shinozaki who publicly declares UI the victor. The Sumitomo chairman is killed by Leo while Shido instigates a coup d'etat led by himself, the Ishida and Yatsubishi chairman and the anti-chairman faction of the Mitsukado. They kill Yozan, the Mitsukado president, to give civilians access to the hybrid creation surgery. With her grandfather dead Yoko was left powerless. With the match over Yuya returns to his normal life and Hitomi disappears. Two weeks later he receives a message from Hitomi asking him to come to the arena where she first fought Leo. At the arena Yuya thanks Hitomi for giving him confidence in himself while Hitomi thanks him for helping with her matches. Yuya almost confesses his feelings for her, but Hitomi suddenly attacks and kills him, his death having been ordered by Shido. As she leaves, Hitomi begins to cry. In the near future hybrids are fully accepted into human society and have their own city built on an island in Tokyo Bay. Non-lethal killing bites matches become popular entertainment with many new young hybrids hoping to become champion. However it's revealed that Yuya is still alive, and he's apparently planning to make use of a couple of young female hybrids to get his vengeance against Hitomi, Shidu, and the entire Zaibatsu organization. The moral of the anime might revolve around the notion that the world can be ruthless and competitive, often favoring the strongest and most adaptable individuals. It might caution against the dangers of unbridled ambition and the exploitation of power. Additionally, it could highlight the importance of staying true to oneself, maintaining one's principles and not succumbing to the darker impulses that competition may bring out. Ultimately, it might convey the message that true strength doesn't just come from physical prowess but also from integrity and staying grounded despite challenging circumstances. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, because it is very important for the development of the channel.